not taken a photo for probably one and a half months now, so I'm starting to feel the need to get out and about to stay in Edinburgh in Scotland. And the days have started to get pretty long, but unfortunately the skies end up being pretty hazy, so it's it's, it's not ideal conditions to go out shooting during the day. So what I'm going to do is wait for evening. Um, the location that I'm definitely going to be going for is a, a place in East Lothian where there's an old ruined castle called Tantalon Castle. So I'm going to go and try and plan the shots. So I'll, I'll talk you through exactly how I'm planning on taking this. So here's the current game plan. Um, city of Edinburgh, capital of Scotland. I, I live just slightly to the east of the city. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take, it's probably about a 20 to 30 minute drive just east of the city to this location over here. Um, so there's an, a ruined castle called Tantalon Castle and most of it's in ruins except for this front facade over here. So the, this facade is actually pretty impressive actually. So if I can get set up, this is north facing and the sun sets to the west. I, I'm hoping that's going to cast some light onto the, the front face of the castle over here. End up with a pretty decent image and hopefully capturing Bass Rock, which is a pretty ominous island in the background. So we'll see how it goes and hopefully get a decent image out of this one. So that's me just arrived here, ended up getting a bit lost to be honest because the sat nav failed on me so that wasn't fun, but I've at least found the location over here so I'm just walking along the road, unfortunately the parking lot is actually closed, I've had to park, I don't know, probably about half a mile away, so you can see behind me, sun's going down, it's a bit hazy though. And in the background, there's the castle. So, gonna make my way over there and try and see if I can get a good shot. Thank God that there are no trespassing laws in Scotland because I just had to actually just jump over a fence there. Unfortunately, the gate to the, the road that leads up to the castle over here is actually closed. So, having to do some dodgy stuff just to get a photo, unfortunately. Had to jump another fence. Not a good thing, so that's the shop for the actual castle itself, which is obviously closed. But you can probably see behind me over here, so nice old ruin. Unfortunately, it is pretty much a ruin. Um, not much left intact of this actual castle itself, but gonna be hopefully a good shot. I don't think I actually appreciate how difficult it was gonna be to actually get this shot so I'm literally jumping over little streams and climbing up up and over fences and so I'm actually on a open farmland here um, it's a good thing that there's nobody around here so what I'm trying to do is actually just so I've got the castle in the background what I'm trying to do is get to that location that I showed you on Google Maps. Um, so I was going to walk slightly around and down the corner just further along that distance. And see if I can get, get a good composition of this. So the farmer doesn't come out and start giving me hell. Won't be good. What I actually want to do is actually just make my way across to the cliff over there. Um, shouldn't take too long. I can get set up, but 
what you can see over here is you can see the castle and can, you can actually see the the island bass rock in the background which is pretty stunning it's it's unbelievable it just literally just sticks out of the sea So I've finally met, made it to the location and I've just got the camera set up over here. Um, I'm using a 10 stop ND filter and a ND grad as well because I've got the sun in the actual frame itself as well so I'm just trying to tone that down so that at least it doesn't blow out the actual picture itself. Um, unfortunately it looks like the what the Scottish call the highs coming in. Um, it's actually mist rolling off the sea so can't actually see Bass Rock as clearly as what you probably would normally see it. With, with being here just on the edge of a cliff over here, you can, you can actually see the, the sea in the background. There's, there's, there's so many seagulls, it's absolutely, absolutely astounding actually. Um, as the sun goes down, they're obviously trying to look for their, their place to actually go and sleep for the night, I assume. Pretty amazing just being over here all by myself. There's just absolutely nobody around here. So the sun's starting to actually go down here, so I'm actually losing a lot of light. So um, I'm probably going to end up calling it a day. It's, it's starting to get close to 9 p.m. over here, and I've got to hike my way back through these different farmlands and all sorts of stuff. So hopefully, I end up getting a good shot there. 